Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome back to HD Poker. Um, last episode, we played some more. We played some HD Poker, and uh, things went interestingly. Uh, we didn't lose much. You know, we kind of basically broke even, but it was not a very good day for us. Uh, but, uh, maybe, maybe things will get better. Okay. Interesting table. No one has like a million things here. Okay, so what do we have? This last eight jack. Um we'll call it sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll call that. So we've walked into this with the uh, what about uh two hundred thousand chips? Okay. Sevens yeah. If you've got a seven in hand, you must be happy. I'm not, though. Ah. Uh, why did I bet so? Why did I bet like ten thousand on eight to Jack? Hmm. What do these people have in their hands? I wonder. So there's a couple. Oh, we've got two sevens and two fours on the table. If you've got one seven or one four, you've got a full house. So they split it. Two pairs with the uh, ace kicker. Is that what happens? Ten kings suited. I'll raise that, honestly. That's actually a pretty solid hand, I'd say. It all depends on how things come down, which, you know, not, not great. We've got backdoor flush potential if two more clubs come down, but let's not bet on that. Uh, but no one else has done anything, so... Okay. Betting here wouldn't be wise, because you know, I don't think we'd get... It's not a very strong power play to say, oh, look, I've got the two. You know, we could maybe pretend we've got, like, uh, okay. So we've got literally nothing. We'd be playing king high card. No one else seems to be very confident either. If we put in a bet here, we might be able to scare some people off this. And by some, I mean hopefully all of them, because again, we are playing king high card here, and we, it, uh, the plan failed. Alright, the bluff failed. Unless this guy's playing something worse than king high card. He had a pair of nines in his pocket. Okay. Well, oh, and there's an enchanted chest in the pot. Yeah. Um, might as well take a look at this, get involved slightly. So what do we have? We've got queen six. Queen of spades, six of diamonds. So we've got a pair of queens. That's the highest pair on the board. It's not bad. A strong bet here could uh, establish uh, that we could maybe scare some people off, make things easier for us. All in. I'll call that all in. Sure. What could she be? She might have a pair of queens. She might have put two cards that make it likely she'll get a straight. But right now we've got the top pair. Hopefully that's enough. Oh my gosh, so many people are calling this. And a five comes down, and that does nothing for us. Really what we're hoping for, I guess, right now would be... Uh, a six or another queen? Really? I don't think anything else does much for us. 
Okay, I don't even know what the 2,000 bet is for. Heck, I'll raise it to 4,000. Just make these guys reconsider slightly. And a 10. So what are you playing? Pair of queens with a 6 as the kicker. At this point, we're so pot committed, like we've already put so much in that what's another 11,000 really? We can't fold at this point. Okay. So, uh, yeah. One pair of jack kicker is what he had. Okay. 4 8. Yeah. So we've lost half of what we came in here with so far. Oh, an eight comes down on the table. <laughs> Fun. We actually have the uh, smallest stack of chips at the table now, which is somewhat scary. Especially considering that last all-in bet from the other woman who only had slightly less chips than we have currently got jumped on by like four people, so. Yeah. If we want to try all in, we've got to really do that when we're really confident in our hand. So oh, yeah, a pair of kings ended up winning it. A jack and a nine, both of which are diamonds. Which, uh, those are actually close enough together that there's also potential for a straight, depending on which cards come down. I say we... Oh, come on! I'll call that. Uh, there's enough potential here with the Jack-9. Now, granted, if we completely miss with the Jack-9, obviously I'll fold if... at that point, but... I would like to see the uh, the flop on this we've got the top pair with a kicker that's higher than anything on the board all in oh, what did I just do I went all in okay but we've got top pair what could this guy have honestly Okay, and we got called with our all-in. Then this guy went all-in. And oh my gosh. And he's got a pair of kings. Full house. <sighs> we'll rebuy, sure. That's just painful. But... I mean, we had... If we wanted to get back to our chips, we kind of had to make a power play at some point, and we've got highest pair on the table, the flops come down, it's a jack, a two, and a three or something. I mean, and you've got a jack nine in your hand. Seems like a decent time to do it, you know? Don't necessarily expect that people have a made pair of kings in their hand when that happens. But that that's how the game goes. This then this guy wins a hand with basically a pair of sevens. Three queen. I don't like it.
Because the issue with three queen is while the queen might be good if we hit it, the three is such a bad kicker that even if we hit the queen, we probably aren't in a good position. Granted, maybe I should have shelled out the 2000 to see the flop, but... I didn't, so... And still, Queen 3 probably doesn't win this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems no one's really excited about this uh, hand, so... Uh... Yeah, maybe I would have had it if I went in. King 10, and they're both hearts. Seems alright. Let's, uh, make this interesting. Because I'm pretty confident in King 10. And if we can get some of the other hands off the table, great. And this also gives you information. It can kind of help us gauge, to an extent, how confident the people who stick around are in their hands. Okay, an ace came down. We can bet this hard, try to get them to fold, potentially. Make them think, I've got the ace. Which would match up with our previous uh, betting, because, you know, if you've got an ace, and that's the kind of thing you might... Uh... <clears throat> and now our actual card came down, the king. Now, given how tepid most everyone mm. else was with the... Uh... with the ace coming down. I presume no one else has the ace. So I've got the king and I've got a pretty good kicker, especially on this board. That's yeah, the third highest card I've got. Okay. Do we just check and see what happens? We don't really need to extract any more money from these people, do we? All right, yeah, one pair ace kicker. All right, king eight, both of which are clubs. And that's another hand I can live with. All right, I think we played that well. Simple call here. I'm not quite as confident in King Eight as I am in King Ten. Two aces on the table. That's interesting. Let's put in a bet here. Like if think, oh, he might have the aces. And we're down to just uh, three of us now. And what are the odds one of them has aces or literally anything at the table, honestly? Okay. So at this point, we'd be playing two pair, aces and twos, king kicker. Not a super strong hand, but who knows. It's a crazy world. Maybe it'll work out. Do I think he's bluffing? Hmm. So basically, do I think he has an ace, two, or seven? It's possible. We'll call him. Okay, he's got the seven. Probably shouldn't have called when we are almost playing the table, but... Figured maybe he was trying to bluff us off it. But... Apparently wasn't. Also, 6-9, I'm not paying to play that. If 
Probably should just bat out of that hand, really. He's saying retrospect, though. Hmm. Would have had a pair. Not a great pair, but a pair, nonetheless. Would we have won that hand? Ooh, sixes in hand. Hmm. That's interesting. It's certainly not a... We'll call, so we can kind of see what's going on. It's certainly not as strong as, say, uh, if we had a pair of aces or kings in our hand or something. But we can maybe make something happen with these. But the problem is, like, ideally what we would want is we'd want a six to come up and then... Yeah. People see... Oh, a six. What are the odds that someone's got multiple? So I've got six. We would have two pair of sixes and fours. Which isn't great. I'll call 2,000. Sure. I don't think we're likely to. If a six comes down, then we would have a full house, which is really good. For our purposes. At this point, I say we'll add another 2,000, sure. Ace came down. So what are we playing here? Two pair of sixes and fours. Um, yeah. If no one's going to bet, then yeah, I'll check it, sure. But really, any bet I probably fold to it. Uh, especially a bet like that. And a call like that. And then another all in. Oh my gosh. Three of a kind. He had a four. Okay. And look at all the money he just got. Three five. I'm not paying 12k to play three five. Hmm. Two kings and a queen, that is one, that is a flop, all right. Hmm. Wow. Two pairs, kings and queens. Four nine, they're both spades. If some spades come down, we might get a flush. Other than that, uh, probably nothing gonna happen with this. Spades did not come down. We've got a pair of fours. For what that's worth. I don't even think I would have called that. Because, yeah, we got a pair, but it's the lowest pair on the board. That's not a recipe to win. And what we, would be, what we would be hoping for in that scenario is another four to come down, so we'd have three of a kind. Or for, like, a nine to come down, so we could have two pair. Even then, I'm not sure how confident I'd be in that. Uh, 
And so there's a potential for uh, flesh from uh, clubs now. Man, this guy keeps, uh, folding everyone else out. Four and eight, but they're both spades. They're a bit closer together than the previous hand we had, so... There's also maybe straight potential. And especially if we only... Uh, gosh darn, do I want to pay 8,000 to see it with four eights? Probably not. And yeah, they're both spades, but... If spades don't come down, then... Yeah. So again, I, w I would have had a pair of fours. Lowest pair on the board. Probably not gonna win with that. Nines came down. Almost a straight there. Seven, eight, nine. Missing the ten, but then there's a jack. But, uh, you know. Near straights don't count for anything, so. Of course, if someone has, say, an eight, ten in hand, they've got a straight right now. Ooh, full house. Jack's full of nines. Yeah. Five jack. If by the time it gets around to me it hasn't gone up too much, I might see what's going on. That's too much. And now I'm sitting next to a prick. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was much in this flop for me anyway. All in, wow. And another all in. He won that out with a pair of fours. Geez, when those are the types of hands that are winning, why am I not involved in all of these? A single pair of fours. Yeah, get me in here. Sure, I've got four queen. Look, I've got I've got a pair of fours. I could win this. Especially maybe maybe if I bet heavily. Scare everyone else away. Great if they're willing to bet sixteen thousand. Here, I've got something. I've got something. Here we go. Who's willing to bid 52,000 into this? Eh? Eh? You ready for that? Y'all? I was not anticipating that. Mm. I'll call it. He's got a stick. Wait, did I win that two pair? <gasps> oh. Oh. 
I shouldn't have won that. But I did. And now Prick has completely rage quits. Huh. And you know what? That's I'm I'm actually completely content leaving it off there. No need to get too greedy. I got all the money back that I lost tonight. And that that's good enough for me. Uh, I don't need to try to fool myself into being like, yeah, now let's ride the hot streak. I, I like ending my poker nights on a high note, better than just a losing streak. That that's a bit easier. Anyways, yep. So that's been some more HD poker. I'm not nearly killing it as much as it was early on, but. Uh, Overall, over the course of the last what, two or three episodes, which I've all recorded in one session, I've basically broken even. And yeah, I mean, well, the poker, I consider that a win. So, uh. Anyway, guys, if you still want to see more HD poker, make sure to let me know. I'm having fun playing it. Trying to do my best to, uh. beat the odds here and, uh. not lose all my money. But until next time, guys, I've been Steven Craft, and I will catch you in the next video, whether more HD poker or something else. Goodbye.